Gather round, everyone. Gather round. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a time period long past. In the days of old, 4 gigs of RAM was all you ever needed. Or, should I say you couldn't get more if you wanted it? What I'm talking about is 32-bit operating systems. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. If you've ever been in the market for a new PC or looking at building your own, you've likely come across the question of 32 or 64-bit Windows operating system. Without getting too deep, for those who don't know, a bit is a basic unit of information that can represent one of two possible values, a 1 or a 0. Similar to a combination lock, these possible values raise exponentially the more bits you add. At 32 bits, you get well over 4 billion possible ways of storing information. That sounds like a lot, but as processors have gotten faster and faster, they're able to handle more. For example, the limit on memory in 32-bit systems is only 4 gigabytes. Now UCI 64-bit was a necessary switch. So why has it remained around for so long, especially when 32-bit applications are able to run on 64-bit systems through essentially emulation? The reason boils down to mostly businesses that are running on much older infrastructures which 64-bit windows won't support. This brings us to why 64-bit is pretty much officially dead. Nvidia just announced that they plan to stop supporting 32-bit after their upcoming 390 drivers. This comes in the form of no new performance gains or features and you actually won't even be able to install the next drivers. With that said, they will continue to support the aging platform with major security updates until January 2019, which still isn't very far away. This is certainly pretty huge and comes right on the heels of Intel's announcement to discontinue BIOS support by 2020. This may confuse some of you as you hear about BIOS pretty often, but most every new computer today actually comes with UEFI. We've just been calling it the BIOS or basic input output system since. Okay. So that last portion won't really affect newer operating systems, 32 or 64 bit, but it's becoming apparent that companies are ready to move past these many generations old technology, which is good because it frees up time to make even better 64 bit drivers and applications. Unfortunately, the Nvidia news is very much for gamers and affects even the newest operating systems. So anyone with 32 bit Windows 10, 7 or 8, it's probably time to upgrade. And lastly, if you're unsure what you have, on Windows 10 at least, all you have to do is go into the search, type in system, then just look under system type, and it'll show whether it's a 64 or 32-bit operating system. And that's it. So while that does it for today, what do you think? Sad you'll have to upgrade or just pump companies will have more time to focus on other things instead of supporting old technology? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love talking all things hardware, make sure to join the GamerMail Discord server. You can find that link in the description. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.